Hello, welcome back. I had full intentions of like washing my hair and putting on like a full face of glamour makeup and wearing something that wasn't just a embroidered sweatshirt. And then I realized that this video is for the beauty junkie, but also kind of for the girls that just like want to order online in bed at midnight tonight. So this is for you. This is what we're all gonna look like when we order and we know it. So. First off, a little info. You've probably seen a million of these videos. It is the Sephora VIB, VIB Rouge BI Spring Sale. Starts tomorrow, which is the 18th for VIB Rouges. For the VIBs, it is the next day. And for BIs, I believe it is two days after that? No, I think it's the 20th. And then everyone gets three days and then Rouges get an additional day at the end as well as VIBs. It is 15% off for your VIB Rouges and your VIBs, and then 10% off for your Beauty Insiders. It can be applied to anything, but it can't be combined. And pretty please, if you go shop in person, let your cashier know, have that little coupon code in your email to show them. They need to know about it. It won't just be automatically applied. You need to like bring it up and show them the scan. Please do that. I'm already prepared that I'm just gonna get yelled at for the next week because of this. I think there's kind of two ways to go about this sale. You can either stock up on your basics and save money on things you know you're going to use, or you can go all out and buy those luxury items that you have an excuse to buy now that you have a discount. So I'm going to start with a few of those basics, things that I think everyone should have that are really good investment pieces, and then I'll move into the more like crazy fun newness afterwards. One thing that has literally not been mentioned in any of these videos besides I think one girl mentioned one brush, but no one talks about brushes in these videos. Brushes are expensive for a good quality brush. They're definitely an investment piece. And I do own like a few Morphe brushes and stuff like that. But my Sephora Collection Pro brushes have lasted me longer. They perform way better. They feel way better on the eye. Super quickly, I'm just going to mention five brushes that I use literally every day in my makeup. This big guy is the Pro Precision Powder 59 brush from Sephora Pro. I use this to set my face sometimes, but I do love this most often for blush. I feel like it covers a large area and blends out nicely. This guy I love so much, I have two of them. I think I've mentioned it before in a yearly favorites video. This is the 79 Pro Contour. I use one of these. This one is my powder brush. I don't know if you can see that it just breathes powder. This one I use for setting under my eyes and then setting like very focused areas of the face. Um, like if I want to be doing, I just want to set where my contour is going to be, I'll use this for it. And then I have another one that's less like splayed out that I use for contouring. I use this guy for my foundation pretty much every day. Pretty sure I've mentioned it before. It's the Pro Press Full Cover Complexion 66. It is like the densest brush you will ever find in your life. There's a bajillion of one brush here. It's essentially like one of those Artiste brushes, but compacted. I love it. And then two eye brushes I swear by. This wee little baby is the number 18. It is the Pro Shader Brush. It's teeny teeny tiny. Um, I like it in front of the brow bone and our corner. Um, you can highlight the Cupid's bow with it. Uh, it's great. I also own two of these, like one for light shades, one for dark shades. I don't want to wash them all the time. And then this brush, I will literally do like a full face of eye makeup with just this brush if I need to. It is my fave. It is the Pro Tapered Crease number 19. It has a nice taper to it, as you can tell by the name. And it really just places product well and blends out perfectly. So these are like my starter kit of Great Sephora Pro brushes. And on that note, although I've never used one, but I own a few, if you're a beauty blender user, this is a great time to stock up on your beauty blenders. They're like 30 bucks in Canada now, so it's good to get a little bit of a discount on them. I feel like everyone talks about palettes in this video. Everyone's gonna say Modern Renaissance, Tarte Pro, maybe a naked palette if they're feeling edgy. I am not a big palette person. I feel like if you're starting out in makeup and you're not just like doing it for the sake of owning it, you're not gonna go through a whole palette. Even the palettes that I've like dug to death, like my Naked One palette, I didn't use every shade. So I think it's smarter to do something like single shadows and get a Z palette. Both of these are the Sephora Z palettes of two different sizes. My personal favorite brands that Sephora carries and singles are Makeup Forever, which are these dudes that are massive on the side here. I have my warm tones. Hopefully nothing falls out. 
and I have two cool tone ones underneath there. I think these palettes are a great bang for your buck. They are more expensive, but again, the shadows are massive. I've used like these two so many times, have not found them. This one I obviously have, but I use this like a crazy amount. It's not my favorite formula, kind of kicks up, but the mattes for Makeup Forever are a beautiful, crazy pigmented blend, fabulously. They're great. If you get them in a three pan, you get a discount, and then you can also get your VIB discount on top of it. So I think that's a great deal. And they're kind of mixed in here, but I have some of my Anastasia shadows. My like life shadows are Fawn, this bottom guy down here, you can see a pit pan on. And that one right here is Fudge, which I also love. And then this is Copper Titanium, and then also the Champagne, which is like a titanium shade. Those were the first four I ever got from them. They're great. So I think it's a, not a better deal in price wise, but it's better if you know you're only gonna use a few shadows do something like these and get like a little z pal like this guy um and fill them with shadows like this instead but that is my opinion um especially because it's hard getting your hands on things like modern renaissance and stuff like that sometimes the one palette that i'll recommend until the day i die is this bad boy here um i'm currently kind of using a few different products but this is one that i always go back to i don't know if you can tell how like beat up <laughs> it is but this is the shade and like contour palette from kat von d Mine has seen better days. If you wanna start contouring and you're not sure about shades, you're not sure about how to use them, I think this gives you a good mix of colors to kind of like play around with and figure out what works for you. And then um, another basic, I have two more basics actually. One is a makeup remover, depending on what you're into. Um, I have mentioned some of my favorites before. The Tatcha cleansing oil is great. The fresh cleansing oil is great. I have, whoop, I have like an empty pack of these here. Um, I actually don't like the rose ones as much from Sephora Collection. I like the original ones better and they're a pretty good deal if you can get them on sale because they're already only 10 bucks. Or I have like a massive pack here, but I really like these and the orange ones from Ula Henriksen. These are the Nurture Bee, but the orange ones are like the brightening wipes. Both of those guys are really good as well. So makeup wipes, makeup remover, cleansing oil, that's always a good one. And then my final one is whatever foundation you find that you use and you love. If you find yourself repurchasing it, it's a good time to stock up. For me, two foundations that I love cost so much money. The YSL Touche Claw is great. I started using it again for the first time in a while today. I was using my Pro Glow for a while and I think it looks pretty good. I'm a fan. And then also I haven't purchased this one in so long because it's so expensive. But the Givenchy foundation is so good. The worst shade range in the world, but it is such a good formula and it has SPF. I love that. And then along with that, your concealer. I own about 7 billion of the NARS Radiant Cream and Concealers because I love them. So those are kind of my basics, your tools, your investments, your repurchases that I advise. Oh wait, one thing. I didn't want to talk a lot about skincare because it's super personal and then I did a video not too long ago of my favorite skincare items for like dry, flaky, gross winter skin which I'll link up there. But one item from that video I think needs to be said because it is very expensive. So get her on sale. That is these dudes. These are the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel Pads. I have the extra strength ones here. They're this little two-step system that has AHAs and BHAs. Um, and it's literally like a two-step chemical peel. This makes your skin so smooth, so soft. It helps with scarring, it helps with texture, it helps with breakouts, it helps with literally everything. But a little pack this size with five of them costs $20. So pick them up on sale, but I highly recommend you try these. They are fantastic. Ooh, one more thing. I literally keep on thinking of things as I'm going. I had a list and then I just said, screw it. I just wanted to talk to you. But one more thing that I recommend picking up during this is fragrances. Fragrances rarely go on sale at most retailers. And obviously Sephora like never has sales. Um, I don't want to recommend too many like specific ones because fragrance like skincare is very personal. Um, but I've been loving as always YSL Black Opium. That is like my number one. And then I mentioned before, um, the Atelier fragrances are really beautiful. So maybe go in, smell some fragrances. That's actually something you'll really get a use out of, like getting a discount if it's like 150 bucks, you know? Now just quickly a few more expensive, bigger, trendier things like that that I would recommend looking into. 
If you can still find either of these guys, these are something that are good to get on a discount because they're kind of like cool, trendy items. This one is the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit from Anastasia, and this one is the Casey Home Smashbox um, Highlighting Kit, Soft Light Palette in Pearl. Both of these are highlighting kits from beauty influencers with big brands. They're something that like I'll buy, like I obviously own them because I'm a crazy person, but they're not necessarily something that your average person would go and spend a ton of money on. Um, especially this one. I feel like everyone's freaking out about this, but it's really expensive. It's like 60 bucks Canadian, I think. And looking at it with my skin tone, I can only use like maybe three of the shades. Same idea goes for like weird highlights. This is the Alchemist palette from Kat Von D. Again, it's not something that you're probably gonna wear every single day. Um, and you may be like hesitant about spending 40 something dollars on it because they are like unique, weird shades, you know? If you can get it on a discount, I think it's a cool thing to have, especially if you're into like cool, trendy internet beauty. Having something like this in your kit um, can help you out if you like wanna be a little more kind of one day. I'm gonna bring out the like big guns now for the end of this to kind of round her on out. Please don't kill me. The first one, I only have this little palette from Natasha Dona. This is one of the five pans in palette 02. This was $60 for five singles, which seems like a lot of money. But I look into this. I haven't heard great things about the star palette. Um, I've played around with one myself and I didn't love it. But if you're looking at those $200, $300 palettes from Natasha and Denona, this is your time to purchase them while you can. And then the final guy, this is probably the most expensive thing that I'll mention besides one of those massive Natasha and Denona palettes. And this is a Clarisonic. I've said multiple times, this obviously combined with like good skincare, but I think this above anything else really changed my skin. I'm breaking out right now, which is inconvenient. But since being on Accutane and my skin being like dry and flaky and textured and weird, this is the one thing that I think really helped with all those problems. Uh, I'm not saying this specifically because this one I don't even use that much. This is the Mia Fit. It's like the new little one that's like meant for on the go millennial lifestyles. But I use my Mia 2 actually more than I use my Mia Fit. So I don't think you need to shell up the extra 50, 60 bucks to get a Mia Fit necessarily unless you like like the aesthetic of it, or you travel a lot, or I don't know, you just want to feel fancy. Um, the Smart Profile is also super cool. I want it mostly for the pedicure feature because I think that's awesome, and they look a body brush too. Um, but if you're just dabbling in, I'd say the Mia one, heh, Mia two is where it's at. Looking at the Mia two. Ooh, again, I forgot two basic things that I would recommend stocking up on if you don't already have them. One, a good pair of tweezers will change your life. Tweezer and tweezers are like 20 to 30 bucks. They're expensive, but I've had a pink pair of them for three years since I started at Sephora, and they're still kicking, they still get every hair. Highly recommend. And also, if you are lashes, stock up on lash glue. It's only like eight bucks, but you save like a dollar on them, so it's a good deal. I think that is it. I think I talked at you for long enough. It's been about 20 minutes. Um, there's a few other things that I could obviously think of, but I didn't want to like throw certain shades or anything at you because we're different people. We look different. We have different skin types. We have different interests, you know? But I'm going to leave it at this. Um, if there's anything else that I remember that I really, really, really recommend, I'll leave it down there in the description um, with all the information for the sale as well down there as well as talked at you. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you do some fun shopping. Tell me what you're going to pick up because... I don't get to buy anything during the sale, so I love seeing what other people buy during the sale. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.